So now the unit is plugged in. Let's see what happens. Retro engine. That's a bit of an awkward guitar riff to open it, but that's what they wanted to do. Please connect to Retro Engine Wi-Fi Network. Um, I'm pressing buttons. Nothing seems to be happening. How do I get it onto Wi-Fi? Hmm. Let's look it up. Okay, so it turns out that there is a retro engine Wi-Fi network that you have to connect to. Log in, okay. Let's see. Download, install, add retro orange Pi emulators. Okay, continue. And then I enter my Wi-Fi password. Something should be happening on this. There we go. App connected. Testing Wi Fi. So you actually turn on the Wi Fi of the system through your cell phone somehow. Very good. Installing. Okay, so this is probably going to be really boring. I'm just gonna stop this video here and wait for it to finish installing. See you in a few minutes. So it's been about a half hour now and it seems to be finished installing. Just boot it straight into emulation station. All of these emulators already installed. Doesn't actually seem to be very many. This has had 28 or something. Let's see, ports. Oh, look, there are. The Legend of Zelda, Mystery of Solaris DX, Mystery of Solaris XD. Weird, there's. Strange versions of Zelda and Super Mario on this thing. Back. PlayStation. There's nothing in PlayStation. RetroPie, I imagine that's just settings. Super Nintendo. Okay. Amiga. Okay. Apple II. Arcade. There's a couple of arcade games here. Cody, everybody knows Cody, Sega Master System, Mega Drive, 64, NES, IBM, there's a couple of DOS based games here. There's also Desktop and Open Alec. Uh, there's a warning somewhere about Open Alec, you need a mouse for it. Uh, desktop should be able to open. Interesting. So, that is the Retro Engine. It didn't take nearly as long as I know some people have been complaining about. Um, but, it works for me. Um, I haven't tried any games yet, obviously. But, we'll get into that later. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. So I've been trying to figure out how to add ROMs to this thing and then I noticed that you have to actually go into retro control so I'm using this uh, cheap Logitech mouse keyboard combo 
Uh, seems to be working fine. Retro control. Error accessing IP. Okay. On. Okay, that's not supposed to happen. So I guess we still have some more work to do. I keep trying, I suppose. Have a good one.